vacation and you're thinking you need to hit the gym, well, we have some tips for you this morning that can help you spring forward on your health adventure. Good to see you. Good to have you. Thank you so much. Good to be here. Now, would you say this time of year, going into summer, this is the time when most people try to get into shape, or have you lost some people from their January resolution? <laughs> well, normally you see a lot of people come in in January and they're really, really sprung forward for the New Year's resolutions, and then somewhere around the springtime, you really start to see a benchmark where the, de the decline starts to take place. So, what we like to do is really offer the audience some real fast, effective ways to really spring forward going into the summer so that we can really jumpstart the start for health and fitness. And what's different about your facility? I know we said indoor. Um, what can people expect when they go there? Well, that's a great question. I'm the owner of MVP Performance and the director of Elite Athletics. And what we have merged together is a very unique training program that offers a state-of-the-art indoor training facility that has 25,000 square feet, an indoor football field, an indoor track, a fully equipped weight room with all the amenities. So no matter rain or shine, no matter if it's cold or hot, you have a place here in San Antonio that offers you a state-of-the-art approach to training yeah. with a state-of-the-art training facility. Wow. Would you say that that's an important part of the approach, though, not just doing weights, but you guys have all these other different things so people can stay active, not just lifting weights on a treadmill, but doing a variety of things? Absolutely. The misconception with health and fitness is that, it, that the programs are kind of a one-size-fits-all. Now, if you're looking at a kid, if you're looking at an adolescent, if you're looking at an adult or even an elderly, every program is uniquely different and crafted towards their abilities and their athleticism. So what we try to do is really create a program that's geared specifically for them, their abilities, and what they're looking for in their everyday life. Perfect. Now, before we get started here and show people at home a couple of tips here, we just want to remind everyone, if you do want to spring forward for health and fitness, don't forget to check out MVP Performance. They're located at 2211 Northwest Military Highway, Suite 127B. As always, you can log on to kens5.com for more information. And one lucky Ken's 5 viewer is going to get a chance to check out Elite Athletics free. Caller number three will get a free, will get actually five free passes, or I should say a free pass to their five-day facility. I, if there's something involved there with five, call 210-946-4372, and good luck. All right. You want to show us here? All right, guys. So what we're going to do here today is just give you guys some real fast and effective ways to get fit for the spring forward. So a lot of women really deal with a lot of stress in their lower back and their shoulders. So what we're going to do is just give you a real simple exercise. You can use a broom at home. And what uh, Katie's going to do is she's going to simply grab her arms and she's going to rotate back. And what this is going to do is just really create a lot of flexibility for the uh, back, especially for the female anatomy. Now, what we're going to do in this particular case, as we warm up the joints and the tendons, now we're going to go into what we call an overhead squat. So with that same room that you have, you can simply just keep uh, your arms upright. She's going to go ahead and squat on down. And what this is going to work here, Myra, is it's going to work your entire core, not just your glutes. We normally do a lot of squats and a lot of lunges, but the problem is do we really effectively hit our core? What she's also going to do is continue to stay lower, and what this is going to really develop is a posterior chain, which is a very problematic area for most adults. The next exercise here that we're going to do here is uh, Elijah's going to help uh, step on through. For some of the guys, we love the beach body look. We love to uh, re really create a little bit more muscle definition. So what Elijah's going to do is he's going to go ahead and do what we call a deadlift. He's going to go ahead and get on down. His chest is going to be up. He's going to extend on up. And as he extends, he's going to shrug. And now what this is going to do is this is a full body exercise. If you're really looking to lose weight, make sure that you're implementing multiple muscle groups at, the, at, at one given time. Now for an added resistance, he's going to go ahead and go into a shrug. Go ahead. And as he comes through, he's going to curl it. Go ahead, Elijah, a little faster and press it through. Good job one more time. And then what we're going to do, ladies, is this next exercise. Come on through one more time. And great. Here we go. Step on out. There we go. Now what we're going to have now is a 360 abs, ladies. This is a great exercise here that's going to work the entire core. So what we're going to do is she's going to have her head above the head. She's going to let her hang head. Go ahead and go. And as she hangs, her legs are going to be locked out. She's going to elevate. What this is going to work is the entire yeah. posterior chain, the lumbar. Ladies, this is a great exercise that will get you right for the spring as well as exactly. the summer. Exactly. If you want those little that's side it. abs there, yeah. you got to twist. And Good obviously, job. that's it. And it looks like there's some good stretching involved, too. Absolutely. Like me, you're not very flexible. Absolutely. One of the most important things that we like to implement is stretching. The average adult yes. loses flexibility, about a quarter inch of flexibility each year. So really? that's yeah. very, very important. Each day. That's, that's a it. good point. And I just want to point out that's one of the reasons why I ended up injuring my back. You know, I wasn't stretching as often or as much as I should. So I don't know if that calls out my age, but just say. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you so thank much for so being much. here. We appreciate, appreciate you it. being there here, giving us those thank tips. Thank you guys again. Well, a lot more to come on Eyewitness News Saturday morning. And whoever said eat chocolate in moderation might have spoken too soon. Details are coming up.